Well, hello everybody, Don Balance here with another live Facebook tutorial here on Tuesday from New Tech. And today we're going to be taking a look at one of the NDI toolkit tools. It's New Tech's NDI for Adobe Creative Cloud. Now, this plugin is available at newtech.com as part of the NDI toolkit. There's also a Mac version available as a standalone plugin. Now, these plugins will allow you to take the output of Adobe Premiere directly from the Premiere timeline and send it out across the network as NDI. So I have Premiere running here and I've got some motion graphics and if I run those motion graphics we're bringing them in as NDI directly into our overlay and we're running full motion graphics from Premiere as an overlay in our live production without rendering anything. So if it can run from the Premiere timeline in real time then it can play out as real time and you can play it without rendering it. You can also play back full screen video, full video edits like you see here. So this could be just another media playout device used in your NDI workflow. Now this is great of course for delivering directly into a live production. This makes this a, uh, a real time editor. I can, if I'm doing news cutter style editing and just putting clips together, I don't have to render anything in order to play that out on the timeline. But again, because this signal is going out as NDI on the entire network, we have some other capabilities. Someone could run another one of the free NDI tools called NDI Monitor on another computer. Now, with NDI Monitor running on a computer on the network, it can pick up any of the NDI signals. So they could very easily pick up the output of what's happening here in Premiere. And this is great for things like approval and review. So instead of someone having to walk down to the graphics bay, they could literally be sitting in the control room or in their office with NDI monitor and bring it up and look at it right from where they are without having to run around the building or do any kind of sending things across the, the network like rendered files that may have to still be changed. And we can then make those changes in real time without having to re-render. It really streamlines the production workflow when you're working with Premiere in a live production environment like this. Now this plugin also works for After Effects, but it does not support Alpha Channel at this time inside of After Effects. So again, remember, these are free tools available at newtech.com, and I encourage you to go out and take a look at them. Now, if you have any questions or comments about this tutorial, or you have topics that you'd like covered, please put them in the comments below. And thanks for watching. We'll see you again real soon with another live Facebook tutorial.